Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds. And I have a diamond in the rough for you guys today who I personally believe is one of the top uh, small school linebackers that you really need to know. Uh, his name is Tristan Wheeler. He's a linebacker out of Richmond. Uh, nice to see you, buddy. Nice to be here. Thanks for inviting me. So, um, yeah, for uh, guys that don't know who may not be as familiar enough with uh, these interviews, um, I try my best not to show favoritism, but I do have the Richmond Spider shirt on um, just because I had it, man. I was able to uh, go down to Richmond last year and um, bought it at some local shop, man. I, I feel like it 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 looks good. But um, anyhow, uh, again, nice to meet you. Um, give us a little bit of your own background, if you don't mind. Tell me where you're from and um, uh, walk us through your journey a bit. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean... Grew up in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania my whole life. Um, grew up in an athletic family. Uh, played lots of sports. Played lacrosse, basketball, baseball, football. Did triathlons, swimming, a bunch of different things. Just very active, very competitive. Um, and I think that carried all the way till now. Um, I got a brother and sister, or two brothers. Uh, older brother who's 32 now. Uh, younger brother who's 16. Younger sister who's 18. Um, they're all involved in sports, so competitive as a family, um, uh, which definitely sharpened me and, you know, made me competitive at every level I hit. Um, got to high school, played, uh, dropped, dropped lacrosse and baseball when I got to high school, um, played ball a little bit with football, um, but ended up dropping that after, I think, sophomore year um, because I knew I just wanted to focus on football and, and take it to the next level. And the like off seasons always o overlapped. Um, training was never um, all in on one sport. Um, so I really wanted to put it all in one basket and, and just really focus on football and get to the next level. Um, and by junior year it came around, uh, offers started trickling in, visited a bunch of schools, uh, ended up visiting Richmond a few times, getting to some games, uh, really interacting with the coaches and the, the players that were here uh, already. Um, and just fell in love with the area, um, the the teammates, the coaches, and uh, I couldn't be happier with my decision. Cool. So, um, Tristan, just kind of want to uh, backtrack a little bit, and um, I don't know, I just kind of had some questions with regards to a couple of, of the early things for you. So, um, how long have you played this game of football? Say since uh, five, age five, yeah. Age five, so age five. um, pretty much uh, since kindergarten or whenever. Oh, um, yeah. So um, uh, looking back at some of your history playing for Freedom High School uh, there in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, um, kind of out in the middle of nowhere'sville, <laughs> if for people that don't know where that's at. Uh, but um, I was looking at some of that information. Also, um, it's it, it had mentioned you, that you actually played both ways. Um, you know, there at as linebacker and um, some level of a H back slash fullback. Um, so um, tell me about your days there at Freedom High School. Yeah, I mean it was great uh, playing both ways. Um, and there's nothing like college football, like Friday night, high school football, Friday night under the lights uh, with the boys that you grew up playing ball with since since Pop Warner, um, and then your your friend, local friends and family coming to the game. So there's really nothing like it. Um, but yeah, it was good. Uh, offense and defense got got to tote the rock a little bit. Uh, uh, brought me back to my uh, Pop Warner in middle school days, where I was I was actually a running back uh, and a linebacker. Um, so I got to do some of that. Uh, played tight end a little bit. Uh, got to get uh, catch some balls. Um, so that was great too. And then we actually won my senior year. We won our first um, conference championship uh, in school history. So that was big for us um made it got to the first round of state playoffs played a, a good private school team out of philadelphia um so that was a rough game but we were we were just glad to to make history my my last year and uh do something the school has never done before so it was a great time cool um don't want to insinuate anything because obviously you're a uh, linebacker but you know given that you do have some experience at in the backfield on offense um, if a team does need you, maybe in a pinch, I have known of some linebackers that do go out there um, when maybe like uh, guys get injured or if, uh, you know, it, it, the, if they just need a guy, you know. So, I mean, I guess in a pinch, maybe. 
I don't know. Uh, you, you think you, you you think you can go back there and do it? Hey, whatever it, it takes to get on the field and make myself more valuable. But I've been I've been in my uh, my our running back coach's ear for for a couple of years now, saying that I want the ball a few times a game. Um, cool. Unfortunately, well, we're... unfortunately, my defense coordinator is not a fan of that. Um, well, hey, you know, maybe in like a goal line situation or yeah, something, like it, it, even, even if it's as a decoy, you know, I think uh, it would, yeah, I think it would be great. Yeah, for sure. Um, cool. So um, uh, obviously coming out of Freedom High School um, there in Pennsylvania, um, you end up going to a school there in Virginia, uh, had several offers coming out of high school. Um, actually, one of the closest offers that you had was probably like you're there like uh, next to you in Lafayette. A college yeah. um yeah. and then yeah. also army um and so um why did you decide to um make the trek to uh you know richmond man i mean why did you choose that over maybe perhaps one of the other schools well first i'll start with uh saying that like lehigh lafayette um they were they were just too close to me i knew i wanted to get away i think they're both within 15 minutes so i definitely knew i wanted to get away um experience something different sure um, and you know coming to richmond it doesn't allow me to go home whenever i want so i get to go home when i need to but you know it's it's out of sight out of mind i can focus on school and ball down here uh, so that was one thing um i really did like west point a lot um uh i think they're how they're regimented and, and scheduled and structured i think that that uh, applies to me and that's how i am here but obviously a big commitment uh post-college there having to go right. serve um and then again a lot of guys on the roster um they had 15 plus when I was talking to them linebackers just my position alone um so that is obviously something that you don't take lightly um but beautiful campus love what they're about um and then all the other schools I visited and it came down to uh the area I mean Richmond I mean you saw for yourself beautiful place um, I have some family in Virginia too, so that kind of attracted me. And it was a way to the point where I can get home for holidays on a long weekend if I wanted to, and still make it back. Um, and then just fell in love with with my now defense coordinator, who was just the linebacker coach at that time, but um, he's the DC now. Fell in love with him because, uh, you know, every other coach to me was not necessarily blowing smoke, but you know they they had a job and it was to to get that kid to come commit for them. And it was always ball, ball, ball. Um, and saying what I they thought I wanted to hear. Uh, but Coach Wood was would make calls to me where he literally just checked up on me and my family, uh, asked how things were going, uh, the season, training, uh, and all that. So there was times where it wasn't about football. It was just, you know, how are you? Um, came into my house, uh, did a home visit, and, uh, you know, was – was super welcoming um and that's how i ended up here so cool well it sounded like they really recruited you hard man they really wanted you there in, in richmond and uh like you said i mean obviously a uh, great campus uh looks great um uh what are you doing there as a student what's your current major your uh, academic situation so i came in going pre-med uh intended to be a bio major uh took bio and chem freshman year crushed it so it kind of set this this thing in my mind where I was like, oh, I can do this. Um, got to the 200 level classes the next year, made the mistake of taking them in season and realized, you know, once you get past the first level classes, it's it's not it's not getting any better. Um, so I really struggled with that and realized how much I would really have to put into it where, you know, something would have to to lack in order for me to get better in, in school. So I didn't want to take an easy way out, but then I went to health studies um, which is a little more on the policy side of things. You don't have to take the bio and the chems. Um, so I went with health studies, uh, but I plan on going to PA school uh, when football is all said and done. Um, so I definitely want to stay in the in the healthcare field. Um, that stuff is uh, really interesting. Yeah, I mean, dude, it, it's a huge commitment, like you said. I mean, uh, and you have that and also like football, which – I mean, of course, you've dedicated a lot of time and energy into this game. I mean, um, you've uh, had a lot of great success, um, all Americans several times over, um, you know, all conference, all this stuff, 366 career tackles, which I'm pretty sure you're probably going to put another 100 to that, like at the end of this uh, upcoming season. But I mean, dude, like, 
Um, you put together a hell of a resume so far. We still got another year. So um, of all the things that you've accomplished during your time there um, at, at Richmond, what what are you most proud of? I mean, what sticks out the most for you? Uh, a personal thing that for me that was was very, I was very fortunate to receive this past season was the Chuck Boone Leadership Award. Um, that's given to one person in in the CAA um, who was voted by um, voted in by your coaches and then voted uh, by ADs and other uh, coaches around the the conference. Um, so that was big for me because, I mean, it's one thing to um, get all these accolades or these stats piled onto your your resume and bio, but uh, to get selected to, like as one of the best leaders and having that role, it's it just something a little different that shows that everything you're doing, um, people can gather behind you and you're doing something to help other people. Um, so like all the personal stats and everything is great, but it, it meant a lot getting a uh, a leadership award and then as a team um making it to the playoffs was big for us i think the last time was 2016 or 2015 so seeing that progress from when we came in i think we were 500 or a game under 500 the year i came in and slowly jumping every year to the point where last year we we did something we haven't done in in about seven years so i mean that was big for us and uh, i felt like i definitely contributed to that so that felt good so, I mean, like you had mentioned, I mean, uh, this past season, 2022, um, I thought was really great for you guys. I mean, like you had mentioned, I mean, you guys made it to the playoffs, but you didn't just make it to the playoffs, man. Like you actually um, made an impact in the playoffs. Um, and you're one of these guys in one of these teams that really, I don't know, um, had a, a great defense, great offensive line. I mean, like on both sides, I mean, you guys, you know, really did a, did a great job. Um, what's it going to take for you guys to get back there, man? You got one more season. I mean, you lost a lot of names. I mean, how, how's it going to work this upcoming year? I think just bringing back confidence in believing what we did and that we can do it again. I mean, we lost guys like, like Reese, obviously, uh, Aaron Dykes, you know, Harris, I mean, those guys were were big names for us. Um, but luckily, we have a lot of younger guys that were following in their footsteps, and all of them were great leaders who, uh, you know, brought those guys along, got in the film room with them, did the extra work with them. So they're all guys that will step up and and fill those spots perfectly fine. Um, but what those guys have to know is, like, they're all capable to do what the guys in front of them did, um, you know, go into it with confidence, uh, play with the chip on our shoulder, I think we we just play with a little edge, a little swagger, and act like we've been there before. I think we can we can do the same thing, if not better, than we did last year. Great, um, uh, Tristan, why don't you share a little bit about maybe your um, I don't know, maybe one of your better games, even a better like maybe one of the best plays that maybe sticks in your mind. Like if you say, "Hey, Jimmy, turn on this tape," and it really defines me as an athlete. Um, uh, what is that for you? Well, let me let me start with a game first because it, it was super exciting for me. Um, was when we played UVA last year. Um, I think I finished the game with a career high nineteen. It was either nineteen or twenty, um, but that was the best in my career. I think before that it was fifteen, but against an FCS opponent. But playing against the FBS uh, UVA and and coming out with that outcome, especially after it was only the first game of the season. Um, I mean, that was big for me because I know I have to prove that I can play against that caliber uh, guys and that caliber team. Um, so I think that was a big, a big moment for me where I proved myself. Um, and then uh, a play, if you go to the Hampton game, uh, the, the running back runs a wheel up the sideline. Um, the ball is overthrown and I lay out and I'm probably parallel with the ground, like felt like Superman laid out and intercepted it. Um, ran off did had a horrible celebration I didn't even realize the ball was in my hands till till I sat <laughs> on the bench um but everyone was like dude that's the most athletic thing we've ever seen you do um so they were all loving that and and that was that was an exciting play for sure awesome well definitely something to go back and and, and look at for people yeah. appreciate you sharing that um um, again, like I said, I mean, I feel like you are um, one of the you know best linebackers at your you know at your level of play right now, and um, you're a guy who is going to be on the radar of a lot of uh, a lot of NFL scouts, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they've already been to your games. 
Um, what does it feel like to have that sort of attention? I mean, is that something that you're prepared for this year? I mean, what's going through your brain? I mean, it's it's surreal because, I mean, you grow up and you everyone grows up saying, oh, I want to be a pro this, pro that. But a lot of people fall off even by high school because of what it takes to actually get to that, even the college level. Um, but, you know, sticking to it and always staying driven, motivated. And the fact that, you know, that was something I was just saying growing up and now it's happening. Like I see scouts at the games, at practice, talked on the phone with a few scouts, even the Bills head coach, just picking their brain about things. Um, so like all those things are just so surreal, like so blessed and fortunate to be in this position. And like, it, like a lot of guys think that all that gets your head, but that just motivates me because it shows that I got to this point and if I keep going, I can literally make everything that I ever dreamed about into reality. So, I mean, it's great. It's surreal. And I'm looking forward to see what, what happens after the season. So uh, you growing up there in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and you're um, aspiring to be some, you know, some player that you're watching growing up, uh, obviously at your position. Uh, who is that for you, man? Is it like a, are you a Luke Keekley guy or what? It, growing up, it was it was always Ray Lewis, um, you know, biggest, baddest dude. Uh, but the game has changed and evolved into a Luke Keekley guy. And actually, my freshman year, we played at Boston College. And uh, obviously, where Luke Keekley went to, to college. Um, and up on top of the, the stadium, he has a banner um, with his name, number, and all that. And my, my linebacker coach, our DC now, pulled me out to the middle of the field and pointed up at Keekley because we always watched his film um, that summer leading into the season. We watched his films like he's like, this is you. This is the guy you have to to watch videos on, highlights on, uh, really study his tape. Um, and then we went there and he's like, look at that. He's like, you're you're going to make that impact on on our team um, by by the time you're done with your career here. Um, so that's something that really stuck with me. And ever since then, I've, uh, you know, watched his film nonstop, uh, saw how he studied and played the game. Um, and kind of try to resemble myself after that. So he he was definitely one of those guys that that I followed. Cool. I kind of felt like you were going in that direction. Didn't mean to kind of lead you there, but hey, I, I, it is what it is. He's one of the uh, best to do it. So, no um, Tristan, um, we've taken a, a good long time just kind of talking about you as a football player. So uh, let's take just a second to um, step off the field, man. Tell me something about yourself that. Um, Maybe not everybody knows anything interesting, fun, unique, special, however you want to define it. Um, but uh, give us something about you um, that you want to share. Man, uh, probably I'm just active. I love being outside. Um, I hate video games, very much just like video games, and even Madden. Like I can't get behind it. You won't catch me playing it. Um, I just like going out, whether it's a boat. Um, we grew up going to the lake house. We have a house on the Chesapeake Bay. So just being on the boat, being out in nature, doing something athletic with with my friends, uh, it's a great time. Um, love reading books. People don't think I like to read because I play linebacker, believe it or not. It's, it's a weird assumption, but uh, love reading books. Love just gaining new information. Um, you know, if you're not learning, you're dying. That's that's basically what it is. So love learning new materials, everything from like how the how my body's working things that translate to to football and then things outside of it, like real estate investment, like all that stuff. I just like learning in general. So those are some things. So you, you got like a favorite book or something? I mean, what, what do you want to turn me on to? Like, you know, oh, I got a lot of good books that you can get. Well, give on. me one, man, because I don't want this video going on forever. All right. You got to read uh, David Goggins books. He has, he has two of them. Um, damn, what are the titles? I'm blanking now. I think one's, one's called Stay Hard. And the other ones, I believe, is never finished. But if you don't know who David Goggins is, got to go look him up. He's he's insane. Cool. Well, appreciate that. A um, couple more questions just for the sake of fun. I uh, just kind of want to throw you away, you know, just kind of a quick little um, uh, answer. So uh, let's see here. Um, uh, favorite type of food whether it be mexican italian or other what is that for you a uh, good american bacon cheeseburger all right nothing wrong with that um uh i know you're not a big video game guy but if you're a tv guy and you're binge watching something on television television show um what what tv show is that for you 
Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. All right. Um, do you happen to collect anything? No. No, not at all. Okay, that's 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 not a bad thing. Um, so um, if you could play an an instrument, or if you do play an instrument, what instrument would that be? Uh, I've I've started dabbling probably about a little over a year ago now on the piano. So that's one thing I always uh wanted to learn. Um, and always wanted to take lessons on at some point, but I think it's super, super cool. Cool. Uh, Tristan, one more of these fun questions. Um, it's karaoke night and it's Tristan Williams turn to, uh, sing something. Um, what you singing, man? What are you most confident in getting up in front of a crowd singing? Ah, I'm probably rapping something by Lil Wayne. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I think that's what I have to go with. All right. Uh, hey, to each their own. I mean, if that's where you're going to go with that, that's fine. Um, hey, man, I, want, I do want to uh, go ahead and wrap things up. I mean, it's been fun. So, I mean, I appreciate you, um, I guess, uh, you know, entertaining uh, me a little bit with some of these questions. But the um, uh, purpose of this, of course, is to, you know, obviously put you on the radar of people who may not already know you for some stupid reason i mean you they should know you you're an all-american i mean you should be on everyone's radar but um i want you to talk to not just the fans man i want you to talk to all them scouts and tell them why they need to draft you and why they need to why you need to be like number one on their board uh you know going forward into next year's draft so uh, go ahead and close us out with your pitch yeah i mean um i'm productive i'm productive on the field um uh, I think I'm an asset in all phases of the game, uh, defense, special teams. I think I'm well-rounded in my abilities on the field. I think I can do everything pretty well. Um, and as a leader, I, I think I do a great job um, holding myself accountable, but holding the team accountable. And I think when I say something, the team really uh, opens their eyes and ears and, and listen to what I have to say. Um, but off the field, um, there's never a problem um, on the first guy in last guy out mentality um love being involved in the community and you know upping the environment around me um and i think my values and everything i'm about would, would just be a great um, asset in addition to to any organization that chooses to give me an opportunity to play for them cool well tristan do appreciate you and um do do wish you all the best this upcoming season i'm sure i'll see at least one of your games this year so um uh Take care and uh, appreciate you for this interview, all right? Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Once again, Tristan Wheeler, linebacker at a Richmond University. Um, check this guy out this season. He's going to make a splash.